They say that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, and honestly, when I pulled 3D Cross Stitch off of the thrift shop shelf and I had only seen the spine with 3D Cross Stitch, I was expecting optical illusions or something like I've seen in 3D quilts, not these wonderful little houses. So it was a pleasant surprise, and I am glad that I didn't pass it up based on my misconceptions of what it might be. It is full of these little houses, which I adore. And my first thought was, I've got lots of other patterns with 3D houses. I still haven't stitched one. I don't need this book. I flipped through it, and I am glad I did, because... I am pretty convinced I need this book. And this castle tower is very much one of the reasons that I think I need this book. The first section is these little scented townhouses. I believe you're meant to put potpourri in them and hang them. They're cute. They're adorable. The first one is Lavender House. And they're great instructions for how to put these together. Cockle shell house, wisteria house. I'm telling you the details on these are just amazing. And St. Clement's house. And then we move into what really made my heart go pity pat. Because look at the village. Look at the different styles of the houses in the village. I'm just enamored with these. Look at all the detail on that little, it's called the Flint Cottage. That is full coverage, guys. Yes, I am totally, totally going to stitch a little full coverage house because why on earth wouldn't I? This is a village store, and if you look there, that is a separate awning. These really do have more dimension than just four walls and a roof. This is the spinning wheel craft shop, and I actually have the same pattern in a magazine that I've had in my stash forever. I can't remember if it's cross stitch gold or one of the ones like that, and I just love that there's a whole little village of these. The Bothy, a thatched cottage, not quite full coverage, but lots of stitching and just Look at the details. I mean, there are flowers there on the ground. I, I just can't get over how neat these are. This is the hall, a small country house. And like I said, I almost talked myself out of this book because I have other stitch house patterns. I am so glad that I did not set it aside and listen to common sense that I have house patterns that I've never stitched a house. Look at this little jutting upper story and the, I don't know what you call those windows. I should know what you call those windows, but I don't. I just know that I love them. And I, this is the parish church. Not quite full coverage. I totally want to stitch all of these, and maybe this will get me past the idea that I need to pick up the little resin houses at the thrift store. Now we're into keepsakes, and I'll be honest, I am not nearly as excited about the vases and the little boxes. The piggy banks, I guess, are cute, but I'm much more interested in stitching those houses. Let's, there's another money, they're calling them money boxes. Like I said, they're cute, but compared to the other houses, they don't scream to me. Let's get back past the clock and the boxes to the other thing, reason why I had to pick up this book. Because the houses while I was flipping through in the thrift store had not really convinced me it was the doll's house furniture that made me put this in my shopping cart and head for the checkout stand. There is a couch. There is a little bassinet and toy box. There is a bed and dressing table. Honestly, it was the couch because I know I've got some red Ada in my stash. And it made sense to think that I would do this. And I had 
had great ideas until I got home of making a dollhouse entirely furnished with cross-stitch furniture, except there's no kitchen. It's just two bedrooms and a sitting room, and I'm not sure that that is enough. Of course, now I'm thinking that I want to find a way to make a cross-stitch kitchen, because why not? And I can plan and daydream all I want in my head without having to worry about if I'm actually going to pull it off or not. This is 3D cross-stitch, more than 25 original designs by Make Evershed. I found my copy at the local Goodwill. I think when I looked that it is still in print. Let me know, are you as tickled by the idea of these little 3D stitched houses as I am? I suppose it's a natural progression from all of the framed flat houses that I've been doing and collecting patterns for. I am so glad I found this. Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle with Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and I'll be back with you again soon.